Aloha. Aloha. So we're on our way to get groceries and Reagan is just, he has caught the dumpster diving bug and so he asked if we could hit a couple of bins along the way because he wants to find some toys. And we have not found any toys. So, burritos. Well, not burritos, but Cheetos. Oh man, look at all these plastic bottles, you guys. This drives me crazy. There needs to be a recycling program in our public schools. I mean, all public schools. Just, I mean, try to think for just two seconds about where all of this plastic is going to end up because it is not getting recycled. This is so ugh, it's frustrating, but we are looking for toys. That is what we are doing. We are looking for toys. All right, I think I'll grab the rake and check out this bag. Hmm. It's an umbrella. I don't know if it can be repaired. Uh. I mean, the canvas might be able to be salvaged. All right, Reagan, go ahead, run and check the other one. What a beautiful day. It's supposed to get really hot this week. I love that my kids have caught the vision and the passion. That makes me so happy. Yeah, someone had a strawberry party. All right, nothing, nothing in here. Onward. We've done really well in these bins before. It's an elementary school. Let's see, looks like a lot of dumping. The diaper gives it away. The, that one over there, there's potential in that, but I can see from here that it's wet. Let's see what Reggie has found. And there's mm. a bag of chips. Yeah, and there's ants in here. Today is not the day in this on this round. Let's see. There's a desk in there, but I'm not gonna be able to get that. This looks like food waste. Food waste. But that's all right, because there are more bins at this high school. Um, P.S. This high school, if you ever watched the movie Footloose, most of which was filmed in Utah back in the day, the original Footloose, this was the high school that was used in that movie. Some of the scenes were shot right out here on the side of the school. Yep. All right, let's go. What's that? Whatever it is, it's huge. Hmm. It's like a curtain. It's gigantic. Mm. Our filters. Food waste. There's a big shelf down here. Oh man. That is a nice oh, that is a nice shelf, but there is no way. We can fit that into the bin. Well, we might have been able to fit it, but we're not going to be able to get that thing out. This round is just not doing it for us. Can't say we aren't determined. Ugh, nope. Grass. Ugh. This is the thing about dumpster diving. It is a crapshoot. Some days, some bins are going to be awesome. Other days, other bins, not so much. What is this? There's something in this box. Just a bunch of paper. All right, this is some clean out stuff. So we're gonna have to look through these a little bit. Yeah, there's some goods in here. Okay, we'll check that out. 
And that one's empty. Okay, we gotta grab the rake and the step stool. I wish we had our totes. Here. And I'm not going to show the name of that. <laughs> so this guy definitely was retiring. There's all of his old planners and even like some of his like award plaques. It's kind of weird. Yeah. A whole bunch of photos. Another mouse. A whole bunch of bags. Cords. Another mug. Oh, it's a Mickey Mouse one. Walt well, Disney World. That. Buckle up. A laptop. Oh, yeah. Since Olivia keeps stealing the other one that we got from our aunt, that can be for me and Mariah. Another of his awards thrown away. And it looks know. like the cord for it is in there. Another mug. A squishy apple. How many mugs did this guy have? Nice water bottle. Super awesome stained glass Coco Pelly thing. Needs a teeny bit of work, but super awesome find. The things people throw away, you guys. Old school jar of candy. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're keeping that. Partners and education, Apple. I know we're probably not keeping the candy. Uh, this is really cool. It's a glass penguin with sand inside. But the sand it doesn't move. Awesome little teeny tiny photo album. <laughs> Nothing in it. Maybe we can put our photos in it. In this box, a whole bunch of binders and notebooks. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if these are still good. Hot rods, hand warmers. There's several of those. A bunch of books, binders, some transparencies. Be interesting to see what's on those. An award he got, this like golden apple. I don't know about people. All of his awards were in here, it's kind of weird. Awesome little mug. Glass penguin filled with like sand stuff. Super awesome. Tons of great stuff. I just don't know. The things people throw away. A bunch of books over there, a whole bunch of books. We'll have to look through them. This one, I think, same kind of thing, books. Well, binders and folders and notebooks. Oh, so much good stuff. Life towel. This is pretty nice. For the apple. Okay. So we have a baseball, even though we already have a million. And then this, and there's a football. So there's some um, other stuff. Uh, and here is a magnet. And there's some cows rushing in towards something. So... There's an old chair and a bunch of bags of yard waste. 
Don't go so fast, they'll get dizzy. So, twisty chair right there. Okay. And what about in the other one? And in this, more dumping. It's always dumping in these bins. But this time it looks like it's like actual like food waste. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna grab that stuff. So that not terribly productive round of bins that we just did is my southern route. Um, and it's, it's like, it's not my go-to. It's where I, it's like my, my second string. So if I don't do very well in my first string route, my my primary route then I will head down and hit these bins um, we just did it today because we happened to be down here to get groceries and so and Reagan really wanted to look for some more stuff I also have a northern route and that's another one that will hit just as a secondary because I generally will get enough in my primary route but if I don't, then I hit up these other ones to make sure that um, I get enough to fill the van. Have to at least fill the van. All right, these are the last ones that we're gonna check today. If there's anything really good in them that's gonna take some time, then we've gotta run home and drop off the groceries and then make our way back over here. Mm -hmm. But let's see, they closed the gates so we couldn't drive over here like we normally do. That was frustrating. Let's see. There's a stool. Whole bunch of school supplies over there. Unfortunately, there's also all this grass which I am allergic to and so I can't breathe by it. And in this one there is nothing. Dang. So that sucks because for sure there's some goodies down in there because you can see Come here, Reagan, over here, bud. You can see that there's all this stuff right here, but I would have to wear like a gas mask, okay, to really be able to dig in there. So, unfortunately, that is going to be all for this um, very warm last, last effort for the day. But I do feel good about what we got. So, and I'm glad that Reagan is so enthusiastic. That makes me super happy. We will be diving again, my frugal friends. So come on back. We'll see you next time. Special thanks to our Patreon patrons. Every dollar that you pledge each month goes straight into our gas tank, making the mission of saving and salvaging possible. If you are interested in donating in this way and contributing to the mission, Go ahead and look in the video description for links to Patreon and our other social media. Have a great day, guys.